very intense because there's this pressure that you are supposed to know your purpose and you are supposed to walk in it and somehow if you don't fulfill this purpose thing like god's not going to be pleased with you and then you're going to die with all these things and it's going to be all like this crazy thing and i'm just like wow jesus that's that's a that's a lot of pressure that i don't see you putting on me and i don't even see the disciples and the the people before me putting they just kept stressing about the kingdom hello welcome back to my channel i am nash amber this is set apart style which is my channel and here we speak about all things faith in christ natural hair style lifestyle what i'm learning um, as a wife and a mum in this season of my life as a mum of one being a woman who wants to live with christ at the center so in today's video um, i'm going to be showing a video that i recorded on my phone so i've tried to say to myself nash eliminate excuses i want to be more consistent with youtube because i love sitting and talking um to you guys but sometimes taking at the camera and everything in my life so it doesn't always work i'm going to try and see how many times i can get my camera out to be consistent but if not i want to use my iphone now one day i was literally just folding clothes with princess k so i decided um let me just record this moment and then share some thoughts that i had on the topic of purpose so this came off the back of a conversation i was having with one of my sisters in christ um we're just talking about purpose and i was sharing with her some of the stuff i've understood so far on this topic of purpose because i used to be one of those people that had that question of what is my purpose like what did god create me for and i remember becoming so fixated on wanting to know what is that god created me for you know you hear people be like oh i feel like i've been called to be um in a worship singer i've been called to be a writer i've been called to be all this i've been called to be so this language is very much in the christian community in the christian circle so it was something that I also was on that journey of like, what have I been created for, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But then what eventually transpired as, you know, as part of my journey, I wouldn't say that I've, you know, arrived. None of us have arrived on this earth, but we continue to grow, right? Like day by day and stuff. But what I've learned so far is what I'm sharing in this particular video. It was one random morning. I think I wasn't even feeling well that day. Um put my camera on just like talking but rather than being like oh my gosh no I need to show up you know in a particular way I want to show up as often as possible and in as authentic way as possible I always try to be mindful to make things look you know aesthetically nice when I can because I enjoy it and I'm sure you enjoy it as well but that's not always the purpose of why certain things need to be shared so this is just a very unscripted moment sharing I was folding some clothes for Princess K um, after doing some washing so I thought let me just talk and share um, what's fresh in my mind and that's literally what it is but it, I didn't even intro it properly and it just looks like I'm in some random box but <laughs> I'm not so I just thought I'd give you a bit of a heads up in case you're like what happened to her setup anyways here goes the video hello welcome to another video today is a very chilled chit chat video because I have princess here, I need to do her hair, and I have a lot of washing to fold. And I was like, it's been a while since I've done a video where I'm just folding. Yes, folding the clothes. Yep. Oh, she's doing my hair. Okay. I'm gonna do mommy's hair. Just got different items that I literally need to fold. So I'm gonna fold and talk to you. Mommy's hair. Okay. You stand here and do mommy's hair. Yes. So she'll do my hair as I'm folding her clothes. Um, I bought them a while ago. I tend to buy her when I like something. The size she currently is, and if I can, the size up, so that I don't have to go and look for it again. <laughs> She's literally just playing. Oh wow. Okay. You're blocking me from the people. Okay. Go on and do the hair. So we're using the cup. I like to roll all my clothes like this and then line them all up. So I'll show you how I'm putting that away in her wardrobe and how I do it is like this. So I take that, fold it in half. I take the hands, fold it inward like this. This is not a really good video tutorial of how I do it. Then the legs, I line them up and I fold it halfway to where the hands are. Make sure that everything is lined up because you don't want it to be bulky. And then I like to roll from the head down. <laughs> cuddles. Give me cuddles. Oh, nice cuddles. Mm. Mm, cuddles. 
<sighs> yeah, it's time to share things that have been in my mind at the moment and conversations that I've had that have really stood out to me. Um, purpose and using our gifts has been one that has really stood out to me this week. I remember when I first came to Christ and I was very adamant. <sighs> Like, I need to know my purpose, I need to know my purpose. Because if you come to Christ, that's all everyone speaks about. What's your purpose? What's your purpose? Let me have a drink. And um, get a book, get a book to read. Look, look, dear zoo, can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, get the book. Yeah. Dear zoo, come, let's read. I went to the zoo to get me a pet and they sent to me a what did they send us what did they send us oh, what did they send what did they send a tiger sent an elephant oh gosh wow he's too big so i sent him back so then they sent me a lion. <gasps> oh, wow, a lion. <sighs> but he was too fierce. I sent him back. So then they sent me a... She loves this part where she can get really involved. A camel. Very, very grumpy. So I sent him back. Okay, here. This is my life. I can't get much done. I don't even know if I'm really going to be able to fold fold this clothes or have this jacket. Oh, Lord, give me strength. Okay, this is really not happening. So I thought this is one of those pointless videos where I wanted it to be amazing and then it's not. So. So oh, here we are going to try again because she's now found something to do. So yeah, this conversation of purpose. And I remember how much it used to bug me. I used to get so obsessive over it in my young years when I first came. Because it almost seems like after people telling you about Jesus, the next conversation they want to be talking to you about is what's your purpose? What are you meant to be doing? What are you to do? And then you get so, for me personally, anyway, I can't speak for everyone. I got very... Like, I'm using my purpose, using my purpose. It's the top where it freaked me out and it got so set that I didn't know my purpose, right? Um, and it took me a while, a very long time. But then when I was getting discipled, that's when things have to fall in place because being discipled is just being trained in the way of the kingdom, you know? Um, it's being a student of life, God's way. And when I, uh, when I started being discipled, that's when things for me started falling into place and that's when i realized that my purpose our purpose the reason why we were created was to worship god um adam and eve in the garden they were in purpose by being um who they were they were also given an instruction and they didn't adhere to it but their ultimate reason for being was because god wanted to create something made in his image that would please him and he created them male and female he created them you know but it was perfect it was beautiful he loved it and their purpose was just embody him mirror him be like him on earth and they were doing that and then sin came in and you know we know the rest well, if we don't know the rest sin came in ruined everything but jesus came and he gave us new life and he was able to um, give us um, redemption, give us um, that connection back to God that was lost in the garden. Now, I don't know if you've heard this, heard this conversation or concept before, if you've even married the two together, but for me, understanding that my purpose on this earth is to worship God has literally changed the game for me. I'm no longer chasing for things to fulfill my purpose um, because worshiping God is not about fulfilling particular things although we will have assignments don't get me wrong i have assignments you may have assignments one of my assignments is being a wife another assignment is being a mother 
And those are areas where I am in purpose right now, just by being in Christ and him entrusting me with these um, positions, with these roles, with these responsibilities. I'm in purpose right now. Um, and if I've spent so much of my time trying to chase my purpose, something out there thinking, OK, maybe my purpose is to be a writer. Maybe my maybe it is, maybe it won't be. But those are not the things I'm supposed to be searching for and um and seeking out i'm supposed to be seeking christ and i feel like sometimes we can even idolize this conversation of purpose and this conversation of you know what are you called to do what has god put inside of you and you see all these people doing things launching this launching that saying that they're in purpose and that, that whole conversation of like you don't want to die empty and when you die what like you're gonna leave and da -da 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 -da. There's so much pressure to be like these super amazing humans that just know what they want to do, do it amazingly, and God is just breathing all over it. I don't really see that in the scriptures. I see 12 men who came to follow Jesus and their lives were turned the right side up. They went for intense three years with Jesus of training, although they did, it wasn't formal lesson number one but doing life with jesus they were learning so much so i'm a big person on doing life especially for discipleship i don't think there's any any better way to be discipled than do life with someone it's just too wonderful but they did life with jesus and then you see how like in doing life they start to learn principles of the kingdom you know they're walking curses of the fig tree they're like what that fig tree come but that fig tree's cursed what? like, bro, what's going on like there's all these things happening but it's happening just in normal everyday life it was not jesus doing crusades or big things like yes he had multitudes following him but he's he was not like my purpose is to to have big crowds if anything sometimes he even went away from the crowds and stuff so sometimes the things that we think are so shiny and stuff on earth i'm just like jesus was not even here for that but he trained 12 men um who then in walking in what christ gave them to do which was to to spread the gospel the good news of jesus the good news that yes we were broken in relationship with the father but we can now be reconciled we can now have good close intimate relationship with the father jesus was teaching them that and then he was teaching them how to let the father become lord in their lives and how they can decrease and he can increase and the love of the father the love we're supposed to have for one another like these are the things i'm seeing in scripture that jesus is teaching and has taught again there's so many other things i haven't mentioned but these are the things that are you know at the forefront of my mind and worship is a theme i see throughout jesus worshiping the father to the point where like and for me worship is seeing god for who he is telling him who he is and then elevating him in your heart and in your life in that position so if you're like lord you are so kind you are so merciful you are so wonderful it's elevating him in your heart that god is a kind god and you 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 do life from that revelation and and you talk to him from a place of he's a kind god so i can approach him um i think you can't worship god unless you understand who he is and you can't understand who he is unless you have a relationship so yes we can do the christian -y stuff and do the routines and stuff but routine alone will not teach you to love him and to grow in love with him it may teach you information about god um and that's not saying that you should have routine like the times you pray i'm not talking about that but i'm talking about just doing things in a um, systematic way just because that's what christians do but it's not coming from a place of desire or a place of revelation and even when you don't desire it being like god i want to desire to spend time with you like that's part of growing in our worship for god and our worship is expressed differently right now i'm folding clothes this is an act of worship unto the lord because i'm serving my daughter i'm serving my husband i'm serving my family that even when i'm busy or i'm doing something else and hubby's with you know princess k like he will know where things are he will not be frustrated um that's me being kind to him i'm thinking about him i'm i'm preferring you know her my daughter and my husband by making sure that they have things the way that they need them to be that things are done in an orderly way no you don't have to fold clothes the way i'm folding it and stuff but what i'm just trying to show is that I'm in purpose right now. I'm doing what I was created to do, which was to worship God, which is to bring honor to him, which is to extend him on this earth to to show that, you know, it is here on earth as it is in heaven. And when I see the disciples, the reason I'm bringing them up is because don't you think it's amazing that there is no um, the 
the, the people of Paul or the people of Peter. Like in this day and age, we have so many ministries, right? And so many men and women of God doing things for the kingdom. And sometimes when they leave their legacy or when people believe in their teachings and their, their way of doing life, they can sometimes become aligned to that person, like that's their person. And they would defend the person sometimes more than the Bible, more than more than the kingdom, which is just not even what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, I just see how the, the disciples were so devoted to Christ and devoted to the Father that they were not in the way, even to the point in Acts where they tried to elevate them and say like, oh, you are our God. They stripped themselves naked or maybe not naked naked but they stripped themselves and tore their clothes to show them i'm a like i'm a man just like you like we're we're mere men just like you so please don't elevate us don't don't idolize us and i find that so refreshing that they they pulled away and they were quick they were able to identify like you're elevating me in the place that only god is supposed to be and they understood my purpose is to bring glory to him my purpose is to show you him and if i'm in the way i need to show you that i'm in the way so that you can see him for who he truly is Timothy. Our job is to worship God and to worship him will be sometimes through song. I could be singing songs to God. I could be praying to God right now as I'm folding my clothes. As I'm folding my clothes, I could be, um, I could dance. I love dancing. Some of you see me dance. I love dancing before the Lord. Not everybody dances, but that's my expression of worship. That's how i express myself when the fullness of just oh god you're so just amazing and i want to show you how much i love you comes into my heart dancing is the way that i express that some people it's they want to sing for god some people it's they want to pray some people they want to shout some people they want to raise their hands some people they just want to sit some people they just want to sit like quiet this one is worshiping for singing right now Worshiping for singing. Hey, take this. Ooh, pretty, pretty girl. <laughs> I hope I hope I don't forget my train of thought. But this is motherhood, and even in this, there is there is meaning and purpose to it. I think it's important for her to know what it's like to to be in our family, and that she's important. What I do online is not more important to her. That there is purpose to her being in this family, and that she matters to to me, matters to my husband. Um, but yeah, it's all about worship, right? So as I was saying, we all worship God in very different ways. And something that I always really it just don't sit right with me is when people tell people how to worship, lift up your voice or shout, or, and I, I'm more for giving people a command to a point to be like you know i really you know i think this is time for us to stand up and really worship the lord yes we can say that and it's, it's and it's great to honor that as well but i'm talking about the times when it goes to the point where you're now just dictating how people should show up for god you're now dictating how people should show their love for god how people should um express what's in the fullness of their heart if what's in the fullness of their heart is for them to write in their journal silently but they're writing songs to god they're writing honest um some things to god that is beautiful that is so beautiful in god's sight and that needs to be welcomed as well as the person shouting in a time of corporate worship you know um and stuff like that so that's like um a passing comment i'm saying again that's not to say that it's wrong to to give commands and to share something that we should be doing corporately and stuff like that i've maybe not done it as much but i've definitely been in environments where it's definitely been needed and what god has been doing has been necessary to say guys we all need to really just you know lay down our hearts before god right now um but for me it's not dictating to people how to express their heart to god especially because when it comes to things like worship which is linked to purpose, you you need to express it in the fullness of what's in your heart at the time I feel like is given because otherwise you just copy and paste. So you might see me doing this and you're like, oh, I think that's how we worship. So you're now doing it as well, but your heart is not even connected. You're just doing it because you're, you're following um, my behaviour, but you don't know my heart posture as to why I'm lifting my hands. You don't know why I might be dancing. So you're like, oh, I think dancing looks very, very deep and spiritual when that's not my, that might not be it, you know, it might be that I'm dancing for another reason. Um, life, look what she's going to dance, to do, to take out all of the baby wipes. It's like it doesn't stop. 
like honestly like this doesn't stop it can sometimes feel very frustrating <laughs> because you think to yourself oh i just want to achieve this one goal of folding clothes and you're starting and stopping and starting and stopping and stuff all the time here wipe your mouth but i know that it's just because she's a child even though she's got so many things around her no thank you no thank you she's got so many things hey do this one and around her she still wants um she just wants to get con like i've given her so many things to explore like even this like she's she's here exploring guys there's so many things in front of her but it's just a choice um <laughs> okay no don't cover the camera she's back she's back back temporarily back you fold this one for mama yeah fold can you fold it please here fold the clothes for mama yeah look i'm folding and you're folding yeah we're folding clothes together no not for sleeping we're just folding yeah um but yeah i was just saying about not copying people's expression of worship but asking god to give you your own expression you know and sometimes your expression will be exactly the same as somebody else's expression but at least it's coming from the fullness of your heart um and stuff and for me i think whenever we think purpose is a destination that oh because i did i did xyz i'm now in purpose i think we we miss it a little bit not even a little bit a lot because then you end up chasing things and you end up being so concerned with what you're doing so your 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 works rather than what has god done have you understood fully what God has done? What does it mean to your life and the life of other people? And how do you now express your gratitude to God day to day? Um, my purpose is to make his name known um, to my family, um, to my children, any that we will have, to people around me. It doesn't mean I have to be some preacher person. It doesn't mean that I have to, it's like the expression doesn't have to be the same as any other believer. Good girl. She's really into putting clothes on at the moment. So when her foot can't go through, she gets so frustrated. Um, but then when she does it, she gets so happy. So she's already got trousers on, pants, as you call it, in the States. But she still wants to try. So it is what it is. But yeah. Um... <laughs> I think what, what, something I want to try and do is um, at some point... Okay, come let's take this off. At some point, I think it will be good to actually share. I'm going to share some of the scriptures in the caption that have really um, informed the way that I think, changed my mindset, helped me to have my mind renewal. I can't remember all of them off the top of my head now because some of the things that God does is you study a scripture or you you go through some verses with him and you you, you meditate on them over some time or whatever and they become life in your life. So though you know you might not always remember word for word, like what was I say verbatim? I think they said, um, they say for what the word actually was, but the 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 heart of it and the truth of it is in your heart. So you are living out the truth, although you may not remember it word for word. So I know that there have definitely been scriptures and things throughout scripture, and like I was saying with the disciples, being yeah. held, they were all about him. And they were in purpose, not because of the, the acts they were doing, but it's because of them walking after what was for them. Um, and for me, I do see a very big core purpose that's given to us in Corinthians when it talks about how all of us are have been given a ministry. Because sometimes people are like, what ministry does God want me to birth? What ministry? What ministry? Ministry. Ministry is a service. I'm serving my daughter and my family right now. I'm in ministry right now. Um and other so many other ways that I can minister and be in quote unquote ministry. Ministry is not just when we're doing the spiritual things, although those things are needed in the body of Christ. But again, we can have a, another conversation, I'm sure, for another day. There's so many different themes that I'm talking about here, but I want to stick to the theme of um, the purpose and the worship, how they go hand in hand. And when you spend time getting to know who God is, your worship for him, your desire for him grows. 
then your worship grows and when your worship is growing you want to express yourself in any way if you're somebody who's super likes organization you might want to start administrative um, administrative tasks organizing things in your home organizing things in your local church organizing things in your in your workplace or wherever you just have this urge that i just things need to be put in order but that's coming from god coming from your godlike nature you know something he's put inside of you and you, you being able to express that brings worship to god because you're doing something that he did create you to do something that is in your heart that comes effortlessly and it's something that he's he's he he would be well pleased with in terms of you using it to serve other people mm. ministry is about service <laughs> um is about me being the gnash that god created and that gnash is not of somebody it's not about the things i do but it's who i'm becoming so purpose is about who i am now and who i am becoming in christ but for me i believe when we come to christ and we now start worshiping god for who he is we've now become aligned to purpose good girl hey put your foot inside um because our purpose was always to worship him and when we're in the world we're not in purpose doesn't matter how shiny it is we're not going to be in purpose because on the last day god's not going to say to you how much money did you make you know it's going to be a case of what did you do with my son jesus and if you didn't do anything with his son jesus no matter what you did it's going to just psh, burn up um but then as a believer, yes, we say yes to Jesus, but then we do have work to do in the kingdom, not works to earn God's love, not works to earn our salvation, but there is works, work to be done in order to um, help advance the kingdom on earth. And we all play a part in that, whether it is at home privately where no one sees you, but you are raising arrows for the kingdom, you're raising you know children whether you may not have children um or you know may never have children or whatever might not be in your line but you you worship god by worshiping you know in your workplace in your communities like you do things as unto god you're not doing things with eye service but you everything you do you're doing it for the glory of god i believe when we're doing that we are being in purpose um and stuff now i want to probably talk about this a lot more so if you drop questions please drop them below and then when i do another video i can try and do a q a on it as well because i know that i've touched upon a lot of themes and i don't want to speak out of turn um and stuff but i just these are just some of my thoughts from conversations i've been having with um with saints this 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 season thank you oh gentle remember i said gentle 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 trying to teach her how to to do things gently I hope that this video helps you at least to get thinking about purpose and worship how do you worship god who is god to you not who do they say he is but who do you say he is tell him who he is um write it down sing it write dance it whatever that you feel wants to come out of you do it <laughs> And you will see it will continue to grow your desire to want to worship God more. And then new ways of worshiping God will come out. Me being um, a content creator came as a result of me wanting to just worship God. I just wanted to worship him. I just wanted to show him how grateful I am for him. So it was like, Lord, what you've done in my life. I just, I want to share it with somebody else. Like, and blogging started and then, you know, YouTube started and now we're here. But yeah, all of that to say that I never chased, Lord, should I be a blogger? Lord, should I be a content creator? I was just, I'm just looking for him because he could change my assignment. Um, he could change my assignment. Um, she's really copying what I do. <laughs> he could change my assignment at any point and say, okay, thank you for being a content creator. That season of your life is done now. I need you to focus on being a wife and a mom. Um, or I need you to do this or serve in this way in the community. And so my purpose doesn't stop and it's not going to be like oh i'm out of purpose no my purpose is being his child my purpose is knowing him and loving him voluntarily my purpose is to know him i that's why i'm on this earth i'm on this earth to know him and then make him be known that may be expressed differently some people you'll let jesus be known but you'll be a baker you'll have a little bakery or you'll be baking cakes muffins or whatever you make or you'll really be into sewing or you'll be into looking after animals but you make god be known because god cares about animals you make god be known because god is creative he wants us to eat good food god is amazing in, in how he can create stuff and you being a creative and being glory to god so for me it's just don't limit god to what you see other people expressing and don't limit god to what you think 
um he can do with you with your expression because things can grow in you that you don't even know god originally designed you to have in your heart um but he'll he will um he will show you as you draw closer to him so i hope this encouraged you Jill, because this purpose conversation can be very convoluted thank you for this clean nappy it can be very um it can be very intense because there's this pressure that you are supposed to know your purpose and you are supposed to walk in it and somehow if you don't fulfill this purpose thing like god's not going to be pleased with you and then you're going to die you're going to die with all these things and it's going to be all like this crazy thing um and i'm just like wow jesus that's that's a that's a lot of pressure that i don't see you putting on me and i don't even see the disciples and the the people before me putting they just kept stressing about the kingdom and we talk about the kingdom less and i feel like we talk more about fulfilling our empires and, and building stuff for, with our names on it and so that we can leave a legacy the only legacy i need to be leaving is christ to be known so that the generation after me and the generation of my daughter beyond will know god and not be a generation that is godless will not be a generation that doesn't value godly principles that doesn't value righteousness and purity and value reading the word prayer value being discipled and trained into the kingdom like i these are the things god wants to see on earth and some of us have different heart things that things in our heart that god places that it's like you really are passionate about it um so the things that god has put in me that he's is passionately coming from his heart it is my my duty to do my part it doesn't have to be on a mass scale some of it will for some of us it doesn't have to be but it's what are you doing to to fulfill god's mandate of him being known on earth um beyond yourself and again not gonna be all these big big boy preachers i'm not a preacher i'm a disciple um i'm a minister you know we are all ministers and i'm a minister i am a living epistle being read by all men um, I'm his daughter and I'm trying to let my father be known. This is how I express it, but everybody would express it differently. But the aim is for it to be expressed um, at some point in your life. Um, express it to your family, express it to your cousins, express it to your mom, express it to your dad, to your colleagues. Like, express it somewhere. Don't hide what God has done for you. Don't hide the reason why you're on this earth. To, to know him intimately and then to make him be known in whatever capacity god gives you so yes sis go out be in purpose love him get to know him worship him for who he is um not what he's not what he gives to you what he does to who he is and enjoy walking in purpose every day and sometimes your purpose is going to be exciting and you're going to be traveling and doing all these amazing like wild things like i've done events and stuff and i'm like wow i never saw that but god you saw that and sometimes my purpose is sitting on the floor Folding clothes, but God is in it. God is well pleased because if I have a messy house, that is not pleasing God, <laughs> and that is not good ministry, that's not service, that's not worshiping God. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't mean I can't have an off day, but I'm talking about lifestyle, lifestyle wise. So, yes, purpose, freedom, Jesus, worship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go because this girl's getting very handsy. Yes, love you guys, and see you at my next video. <laughs> Bye that's that's literally my thoughts on purpose i don't know what do you think love to hear your thoughts what have you learned so far what scriptures frame your understanding on this topic of purpose did you have similar thoughts to what i was sharing um I, have you been that person as well sort of like oh my gosh i want to know my purpose i want to know my purpose because i know i used to be that person a lot i don't ask that question anymore due to the things that i've now understood and where i'm at in my in my journey um but with a journey, there is a destination and that destination is to be with him in glory one day. Um, and until then, my desire is to keep worshipping him in every single way that I can. I want to worship him in spirit and in truth. Um, as a wife, I want to do that faithfully. As a mum, as a friend, as a daughter, I always try. It's not always easy because you're dealing with human beings and sometimes you're like, am I doing this wrong or... and stuff. But yeah... I try not to get so hung up anymore on what am I doing versus who am I becoming? Am I becoming more like Christ? Um, so I'm not so um, focused on performance, although I do want to give God my best and I want to do everything excellently and I want to do things right and I want to do, do things properly. I want to do things in a way that he will see and say, wow, that has my DNA on it. Um, I believe God is so creative and I believe that he is so 
um, perfect in all his ways. And we're not perfect in the same way, but I do believe we are perfect because we're made in his image. So, but we're not necessarily perfected in everything. Hence why we are still on this journey of becoming like Christ, a.k.a. sanctification. Um, but yes, this is this is it so far. I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you forgive me if the quality and the sound was not all together like this particular frame. But yeah, we move, you know, so I'm, I'm, I hope that you uh, enjoyed See you in my next video. Peace.